Hello, this is Vance Stevens from Align United Arab Emirates. I'm a coordinator for Electronic Village Online and also a moderator of one of the sessions, uh, Minecraft MOOC. And we're trying to use Blackboard Collaborate and having a bit of problem with it uh, because people are unable to launch the new collab file, the dot collab file, which we'll look at in a minute. But basically for our session, we would like to find a space for people to come online and meet us um, and be able to talk while they're in Minecraft. And we've directed them at uh, Blackboard Collaborate, which is located here. So when you click on, click on that link, or if you're in an EVO session and you, somebody else suggests you use this room, you want to, you'll, you'll end up at this place. Or you could be in another Illuminate session for some other program, but you'll have some place that will look something like this. And there's a tech check option here. I'm using Firefox right now. Uh, Firefox doesn't have Java issues, which might be issues with um, uh, Chrome, although it seems to be working fine on this computer. Um, so if you do a tech check, it will prompt you to download the launcher. And when you download it, it will uh, install it for you. You can install the launcher there. So if you don't have the launcher, you can uh, download it in the tech check. If you do have it, and you should be ready to go, let me show you how that looks. If you've already installed the program, then you can run the tech check like this. It'll look like this. You click on tech check, it will invite you to download uh, a session, and then you can save it and you could launch it. Uh, looks like it's downloaded. There are various possibilities for finding its location. This happens to be in Chrome. I always uh, try to show it in the folder. So the last file I opened would be the one at the top here. So I'll, I'll, it's meeting 9. That's the, that's the one I just downloaded. Okay, so that's its location on my computer. If I'm in Firefox, then uh, when I download it, I can find it. Uh, I can find the downloads here. This is the last one I downloaded in Firefox. And let's see, if show all downloads. Well, it basically, it, I let's see. This is go to the containing folder. Okay, here again, you can find the file that was just downloaded. What I need to do now is find what will launch the program. You might not have an icon associated with it. That's the problem that so many people are getting. There is no icon, or if you double click on the file and try to open it, it doesn't know what program to open it with. So to, to find a program, a way that will work every time, we have to uh, go to our, uh, our PC and find the location of the, ins the file that was installed. When you installed the launcher, you need to find where it is. So, if you start at your PC and you find your users, and you find the name of your user, mine happens to be Acer, okay, then you're going to have to go into app data. Here's where you're heading. You're heading for users your name could be anything, your username, and app data. So you're going then to browse the local programs, that's very important, find Blackboard and the Collaborate Launcher, and there you'll find your, your launcher file. Okay, so, uh, so there's Acer. Now the problem is that uh, the Windows team has decided to not show you app data. So in order to start that process, you need to type app data here. I've done it so many times on this computer, it's already offering it to me. But if you type in app data and you click OK, now you're in app data. Now you want to browse to local. And there's a little trick here. There's a trap, not Blackboard. You want to go to programs. There you'll find Blackboard. And there you'll find your launcher. So what you're trying to do is find this uh, program and you're going to then tell the computer, this, this is, if, when I click to the right of the uh, uh, file, uh, the right of that path, I get the, the path that I want to copy. If I copy that, 
Okay, then when I go to open my file, go back to my downloads. Uh, found my downloads. Here we go. Downloads. Okay, if I go, if I want to open this file, I right-click on it, and then I'm going to say open with. But if it doesn't offer you Blackboard Collaborate, or even if it does and that doesn't open the file, you need to force uh, it to open with the program you chose. Now, if I use this default, uh, if I tell it to find, I, I'm going to, however you, you, you do this in Windows 8 or Windows 7 or on whatever PC, you want to get to the point where you can actually browse for a file. So here, the program that I'm looking for, I can either find the app data or I can paste the app data location or I can just I can paste the location that I just copied from uh, from over here. So I this is this is where I'm looking. I'm looking in this path. Or you can you can just browse right here if you like. You can go to uh, users, find your username, and then type in app data here, and then go to local. Uh, not Blackboard, but Programs. Okay, and then find Blackboard, and then find the launcher, and there will be your file. So if you, wh however you get there, if you paste the the path here, or if you find it, you, you select that file and tell it to open the program with that file. Now, for me, uh, even if my computer is not working, uh, that always launches the program for me and it works whereas uh, often on a Windows 8 computer it might tell me that I don't have a program to, to do that uh, I, but if I do it this way it finds the program and it does it another way you can find that file is you can go to, uh, you have to you have to search on a Windows 7 it's much easier just pull down the all programs menu and you can search there so if we're looking for Blackboard Collaborate Launcher, here uh, I'll right click on the launcher, open the file location, that's the place where it is, and as you see it takes me back to the, the place that, oh sorry, that's the wrong, this one is the shortcut. So I right click on the shortcut to get properties, and the target will be here. So there's the target. I can copy the target. The target is always highlighted. So now I can go uh, with that target. You'll see that this is the target location. So it's the same thing. You just basically take uh, the path that you need. And the path you need, by the way, does not necessarily have... This is, this is the path that will expose where your Win32 Launcher EXE is, and then you can go to uh, any window, and you can paste that path, and it will take you to where your launcher is. So as long as you select the launcher to open the program, then that will work for you. Okay, that's enough of a recording. I guarantee you that this will work after this. Vance Stevens in Al Ain, United Arab Emirates.